I want to review an add-on for today, but I don't know what add-on to review for today, so I think I'm just going to be exploring. What a joker. <laughs> So what is up, it's your prince, Prince MJ, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock add-on review. In this Minecraft Bedrock add-on review, we are going to be reviewing the Happy Straps add-on made by HappyCannon27. Well, that name sounds familiar, well, because it is, because he is the creator of the more so Less Snore add-on, which has been featured on this channel for a long time now, and it has its own playlist. And quick fact check, this very add-on was taken from the more so less nor add-on. So if you're checking this out, why not check that out as well? Links down below in the description for that playlist. So enough of that, I think you guys are here for awesome spikes, snap traps, and fake flooring. So why not watch the whole video to find out? And also subscribe and ring that notification bell icon so you won't miss any content from me, Prince MJ, in the near future. You know why I'm holding a poisonous potato in a chain in my hotbar? Well, because these two items are fundamental to make sure Happy's Traps works its traps in your Minecraft Bedrock world. And we're going to be looking into that right now. First trap that we have here is the Snap Trap. And if you guys didn't notice, I have Regeneration and I'm in Game of Zero. So you know what's about to go down. So Snap Traps. Snap Traps can be activated with Chain and also reset with chain. So I don't know why it's not working. There we go, it was laggy. And then I placed down a chain on top of it. So snap traps, let's go. How does it hurt? Oh, there we go. Wow, that regeneration effect actually works wonders. Wow. I did test this out earlier. It deals like five hearts of damage, five and a half hearts of damage. That's nice. I don't know why that chain is really bothering me. Next up, we have the Snap Trap's successor, the Poison Snap Trap. Poison Snap Trap is very, very easy to activate and reset. You just need a Poison's Potato. And as a bonus, this deals more damage and has a poison effect. Like, wow, there we go. So I think this deals like, again, five and a half hearts of damage. Yeah, and also gives you slowness for it. I forgot to mention that. I failed to mention that earlier. It gives you 20 seconds of slowness, I think. That's very menacing. Next up, we have the Snap Trap for lazy people. The Snap Trap Clock, okay? So the Snap Trap Clock is very, very awesome. It just automatically activates and resets itself. It resets itself in like 10 seconds, I think. So there we go. You guys can count it up. And it gives you slowness again and i think deals like five hearts of damage again so there we go it's going to reset in there we go nice nice timing out with the snap trap in with the spikes so the spikes do not deal a lot of damage in general they just deal half a heart of damage and their damage depends on how high the player falls okay so they just kind of aid like the player's death from falling okay that's that's very nice so i'm going to split the spikes in two categories we have the first category which are the spikes that do not give status effect to the player if they step on them and then we have the second category where the spikes do deal or do give status effects to the player when stepped on okay in the first category we have the wood spikes so the wood spikes are just regular spikes but made out of wood okay this is how he looks like then we have the stone spikes the second from the first category stone spikes this is how he looks like third from the first category we have the boom spikes so these are the boom spikes okay first from the second category we have the poison wood spikes so they 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 are very very self-explanatory if you guys saw how that freaking poisonous snap trap worked so Oh, why? What? Okay. Wow, I did not even... <laughs> I did not even need to go to game mode 0 or survival to go and check out the status effect it gave me. So that's very, very nice. It gives you poison 2 for... How long? Okay, come on. There we go. So poison 2 for 10 seconds. Okay, this is very weird. It's only when you fall a certain height, it gives you a status effect. So it's... Let's see. If, if this goes away in about five seconds so i'll do it again this is not that like high i get damage but if i go higher i do get damage and given like the poison 2 status effect okay that's weird okay so that's the poison wood spikes from the second category now we have the magma spikes okay the magma spikes oh, i think you guys already know what's up it also has like 
animated textures. Okay, that's very, very nice. It's kind of pulsating. So the experiment, again, it doesn't give me any status effect if I fall from like a small height. Okay, or like, not like like short height. Now, if I do fall from high up above, I, I get damaged from the spike. And then, given the... Wait, this isn't even a status effect. It just burns you. Now that's all the traps done, but I think this is also part of the traps because it aids the traps to be concealed. So here are the fake flooring that we have. The fake grass and the fake stone bricks. So these are very very crucial to make sure your traps actually work towards your prey because they're not gonna know what's coming, you know what I mean? And I think the textures are not that perfect, but the fake stone brick actually works well if you can see. This is a regular stone brick. And then this is fake stone brick. So fake stone brick actually like works. This will fool me, okay? I, I, comment down below if you guys will get fooled by this. But with the fake grass, um, yeah, that's a little sussy. And that's a tip for y'all trappers. You need to make sure that the hole for these fake flooring and spikes are deep. Because as I've said, these spikes deal measly amount of damage, only half a heart of damage. So you need to make sure that the, that the spikes... The hole for the spikes and the fake flooring are deep. It also depends. It also depends on the trap. If you put like with spikes, if you put like magma spikes, it's gonna deal good damage. If you put poison spikes, poison wood spikes, then it's gonna deal a huge amount of damage. Okay, a huge amount of damage for your prey. And I'm trapped. Okay, that's good. Happy's trap supports Minecraft Bedrock add-on versions. 1.19 and 1.18 because I'm actually running 1.18 because Minecraft Bedrock on Linux kind of sucks right now. Also, make sure all experimental gameplay features are turned on for this Happy Traps add-on to work, okay? Happy Cannon, this is very, very awesome. This add-on that he has made. Again, go check out more so let's know down below in the description. Also, make sure you guys do check out this Happy Traps add-on. It's a very, very easy download. In MCP DL again links down below in the description also why not subscribe to happy cannon's youtube channel in the description down below he really needs the support right now because like he's very very awesome he's been going at it with these add-ons so go check him out also why not go check out my social links down below my twitter my my instagram my patreon my libera pay my whatever it's in the description down below just go check it out to support me even more Make sure you guys do not forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring that notification bell icon so you won't miss any video from your prince, Prince MJ. And I'll see you guys in the next video.